What up, you two? For the old man. Time. That's right, we're back. Old Man Games channel. I'm your host, Old Man Games. Welcome and welcome back to the, to the returnees. Welcome to the newbies. If you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. For all everyone, whether you're new or returning, go ahead and bang out that like button, baby. We got a new episode for you in the series. This is NHL 2K8. We are the Phoenix Coyotes, season one, episode number five. The way this series works is at the top of this series, go back and check episode number one. We did a complete draft and we got into the backstory. I'm playing the role of the GM for the Coyotes. Yeah, so if you want to check out the team, go check out the draft. Um, and then, basically, what else? Um, I think we've made one trade so far. And since we made that trade, we kind of took a step backwards. And then we took a step back forward. So, you know, we're somewhere in the middle there right now. Oh, and the way we work in this... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place. The way we are working this series is we're going to... We play everything on this channel is CPU versus CPU first off. So when I say play, I just mean we're going to show the CPU versus CPU. But we're going to play 10 CPU versus CPU games during the regular season. Basically one game per month leading up to the last couple of months. Second to the last month, we may play like three games. And then that last month, we play two or something like this. But total overall there's 10 regular season games that we will show the cpu versus cpu on if we make it to the playoffs we, we will show every single game in the playoffs but that's that's the agenda there's one game per episode then at the end of the game we simulate you know until the next bunch of games so that that's the format that's what we're doing so far, this team is. Oh, wrong button. Let's see, where are we at? Oh, you know what? Uh, there you go. There you go. Oh, there we go. So far, we are. Come on. Here we go. So far, we're 17, 15, and 5. We're just somewhere in the middle there. Let's see about the standings. Check out the standings. And the Western Conference. We're like right outside of the, the playoff cutoff. Calgary is number 8. They hit the playoff cutoff mark. We're like right there, number 11, it looks like. But yeah, so we're right outside the mark. Take a look at our stats so far this season. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I'm back. Damn, 2K beat, start playing when I don't want it to play. Anyway, take a look at our stats for the season, like I said. Eric Stahl leads the way with goals, 19. Seaman right behind him with 16. Then the baby brother, Jordan Stahl got 13. Greer, the other brother, and Arson, Anson, not Arson, Anson Carter, the other brother, the two other brothers got eight and seven. Higgins with six. Higgins got a whole bunch of assists too. Remember, goals plus, for all you non-hockey enthusiasts, goals plus assists equals points. Also, assists can be up to two passes leading to the score, and not just the, the last pass leading to the score. Again, I'm just talking to all the non-hockey people. For, for all of you hockey people who know, you already know. You already know. Alright, so here's our total points. Dude, look, the two blood brothers lead the way, 47 and 28. 
points total. Then Seaman, that's why Seaman morale is down. He like, man, I want to offer this team with all these brothers. I ain't nobody brother. He's in a contract here too, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to be able to keep him. Ooh, look, this is the guy we traded for. Georges Larecu. His morale is all the way out the window. He like, F this team. So is Donald Brashear, the old guy, and the young guy. Voljek Polek. Uh, he's a contract guy too. Here's our penalties and minutes. Damn, Eric Brewer is up there. So is Carter and Jackman. So we've been picking up penalty minutes, that's for sure. Dang, look at the hits. Jackman up to 97 hits. Brewer at 77. Dennis. I, I want to say his last name is Gutierrez, but they say something totally different than that. They pronounce that, that, that joint totally different. I say Gutierrez, but anyway, he got 71 hits. Anson Carter with 67 hits. Jay McKee, 60. But yeah, these are all our hits on the season so far. All right, here go our game-winning goals. We got quite a few game-winning goals when you look at it. When you really think about it. Yeah, those are all our game-winning goals right there. And these are the two guys with multiple Oops. See, we got power play goals. The two brothers lead the way. It's everybody else. Power play assist. Ooh, we got a few shorthand goals. That's pretty dope. Always want to see that. We have just minute info. Polak hasn't gotten in. That's why he's bad. That's why he has no morale. He's pissed. He's pretty pissed. Alright. Oops. Let's see. Let's see if we got some. Check out some goalie stats. They pretty much. I won't say they completely split the games, but. Marco Turk, Marty Turco, it ain't like he started every single game for us. He started 21 games, Howard started 20, uh, 16. Howard been good though, really good. The youngster got six, uh, four shutouts. The four overtime, uh, Turco got four overtime losses. Howard only has one of those. Their win loss though was fairly close together. Fairly, pretty much identical. Damn near. Here's the save difference, but look at the save percentage. So you can see it's like student and uh, teacher and pupil, basically, between these two. Turkle's a 32 year old Canadian, 5'11, 184. And then Jimmy Howard is the 23 year old American, six feet, 215. So those are two goalies holding it down. All right, so as well just get this thing going. Let's see, on the docket for the day, we got Colorado at Colorado, and that's a division game right there. So let's go on and go on and get to it. Now from the base of the Rockies, we bring you the fastest game on ice at the home of the Colorado Avalanche. Welcome to NHL hockey here on the 2K Sports Network. The fans love their ads here in Denver. It's not hard to love a team that brings the Stanley Cup home in their first year. What a housewarming gift. The Avalanche. Your Colorado Avalanche. Avalanche. Oh, 
quality defensive club. Great blue liners and forwards dedicated to playing defense. This is a team that will be very tough to score against. Bob, they are a good defensive team, and I'll tell you why. It's hard to be a good defensive. Tutin is noted as one of the game's best two. Russian-trained defenseman Feder Tutin is a rock on the blue line. He displays a concentrated effort every shift. And the referee is just about ready to drop the puck. Jackson. He takes that big shoulder hit. The centering pass. In the corner, Stahl's got it. Jackson's got it on the side. His shot barely misses the white goal post. Now Barrett Jackson. The shot's blocked, and oh, he had to dive to do it. And he did it. Watch how he blocks this one. Doesn't need to dive or to do anything dangerous, but he's crafty. He gets the stick in there at just the right time. Right on time. And that's tougher to do than it looks. Those pucks are moving so fast, you don't have a lot of time to react. And this just shows you what kind of athletes play in the NHL. Zuri, Stepniak, Gauthier pulls him along the board. Here's Jay McKee. The pass went nowhere. Now McKee, now Gauthier with it. Jordan Stahl. Higgins gets checked. Holy, did this guy have a bullseye on his shirt? Higgins is held against the boards. He gets checked good on that one. And Whitney now. Whitney. He stopped him. He just stoned him on the breakaway. And brought to you by Duracell, our copper stopper replay. Harry, that was a nice save. This is a beautiful save, and we're going to show you the breakaway stop. Check out the pad save here by the goalie. Harry, just tremendous agility to flash that right pad on a breakaway chance. That sure was impressive. He gets that save made. Terrific job in the butterfly stance with that stick save. Powered, and they blow the whistle as the goalie covers up. Let's see how close this one came to going in. We'll take a look at the replay. We know it hit the post. We know there was room, and we know the goalie was still in the crouch when the puck went by him. And that's why you find the shooter going back to the bench, looking up to the big overhead, and watching the replay and saying, what have I got to do to score? And the goalie's saying, you have to do better than that. He gets it, and Di Pietro decides he's going to hang on. Stahl has a running total this year of 28 assists. And getting ready for the faceoff now, Travis Zajac. And the end, searching for their first goal. Coyotes lost it. And Stewart nails him. And it's taken away by Zajac. Stewart is just in his first season. Here's George Lorac. He's got a lot of energy. Here's Dvorak in the neutral zone. Here we go now with Colorado. Now Adams. Here's Fritchie, and Fritchie takes the check. Howard, they blow the whistle as he covers the puck. Former North Dakota Fighting Sioux center Travis Zajac is a low-rounded player who competes at both ends of the rink. He does all the little things that need to be done to win hockey games. Now McCulloch, and Ruslan Saleh with it. McCulloch, that smooth skating defenseman. And it's center ice picked up by Phoenix. Stolen by Colorado. Turnover, Colorado. Hart takes the hit. One timer. He gets it. And Rick Pietro covers it up. This guy brings such a strong mental game to the rink. As coaches always say, the body follows the mind. And Rick Pietro is set there on the right side. And now Colorado in their zone. Colorado looking to get on the scoreboard. To the point. Dimitra, now the colic, and Ruslan Soleil with it. Here's Mikola, doesn't get it on net. It's wide right. And here's Alexander Seaman. Now Carter, he shoots. Comes off the people's stick and back out. Eliash. Hensky handles it. Hensky. St. Howard with the stick save. Stahl handles it. Saman handles it. And the Coyotes across the blue line again. Now Stahl and Sutton nails him. Here's Alish Hansky. Hey. 
Tootin's got it. Orpik diving to the ice. He stops the shot. In a tight game, making plays like this one, this is what defense is all about. Here's Dimitra. And now Colorado with it across the blue line. To the point. And the Avs take it away. Now Hemsky. Nice save. And Stewart now. Stewart. It's blocked. Here's Alish Hemsky. Here's Eliash. Dumped in by the Avalanche. And now Phoenix in their own zone. Stewart. Now Lorac. Goche's got it. The center of pass. He gets checked. Lorac handles it. Shoots wide right on that one. And Phoenix gets possession. Stolen by Colorado. The Coyotes have found themselves in a scoreless game. Nothing on the board right now. They're midway in the first period. Harry, what can you say so far about the play we've seen from this team? Bob, goal tending is the single most important position in professional sports. Di Pietro stops that shot, heading for the low right side. And Rick Di Pietro covers it up. Oland is ticking toward a new milestone for career points now. He's on his way, Bob. I suspect there'll be a lot more points to come in his outstanding career. Turnover abs. Shot by Glory is denied. And the goalie covers up to stop the play. Matthias Olin has been considered among the elite class of defensemen. There's nothing really flashy about his game. He just gets the job done. At the faceoff will be left of the net. Stop shot. And the abs coming in. Behind the goalie. He scores! Shot deflected in off a stick. Let's take a look at the replay, Bob. It went so fast. There it is, right off the stick. Nothing the goalie can do. With... The Avalanche are energized by that one here in the first period. That's a go-ahead goal, at least for the moment. In the neutral zone, the Avalanche put it. Hole and check. Holsov's check. Now Mike Green. Here's Green. Oh, and Green shot a stop. One goal lead for Colorado. And now the Coyotes. And the pass doesn't make it there. And it'll be icing as the Avs touch up. When you are playing against this guy, you had better bring your A game because he's going to bring his. And you know, this face-off is to the right of the goalkeeper. Now Vanden. And here's Green. Phoenix looking to tie it. And now Phoenix with it across the blue line. Shot wide to the right on that one. Sorry, he's a very tough player at center ice. Now Fritchie with it. Dvorak in the neutral zone. The Coyotes with it. And Green. Green's hit. Takes the hit. Now Adams. Superb shot block. He drops to his knees to make the play, and that's exactly how it's done, folks. And you think it's not that hard to do until you have a puck going 80 miles an hour hit you in the chest. And you hope it hits you in the chest, because if it doesn't, you could go from an alto to a soprano in no time. Roar. It's blocked. Short of the goal. Here's Sutton. And here's Whitney. And now Phoenix in their own zone. And Eric Brewer with it. The pass is missed. And the Avalanche touching up for the icing call. Well, his ability at moving laterally is incredible. Eric Brewer will stall on the blue line until he can get a shot away or find somebody open. And Colorado with it now. Jacklin will be the recipient of the delayed penalty. He got called for interference. Let's check the replay and see if he was called for interference. Oh, yeah, you can see that he was trying to get away with something there. Well, he's away, all right. He's away across the rink in the penalty. And the Avalanche win it back to the point. Stephanie Axe got it along the boards. Drury. Here's Drury. Here's Brewer. He did not want the high impact hit. He just wanted to eliminate his opponent. Clock down to a minute 49. The puck is hit up the left side. The move creating some space. 
The puck goes into the corner. Here's Soleil. And here's Alexander Seaman. Now Carter. Colorado loses it. Now Phoenix into the zone. In the corner, Seaman's gone. Saleh holding him now along the boards. Seaman getting held up along the boards. Abs leading by just the one. And now Colorado serves. That's the end of the game. And the score after one is what well, we've got a moment now for the Dodge Intermission Report. Dodge, grab life. The Coyotes are trailing by one goal as we get set for the second period. Watch the story, Larry, on what they've got to do now to get back into this game. One thing that really jumps out to me, Bob, is that they are not... The Coyotes ready for the second period now. Coming out after the intermission, they've got to be determined to see up and we're ready to start the second period of play here tonight. And Colorado has it at center. Elias now. The center. The puck comes out of the corner. Dimitra is hit. Kaminsky takes the check. Saman handles it. Once more, they make a change on the blue line. The door to To the point. Carter handles it. Here's Carter. Shoots wide to the right. No luck there. Cannot get it on goal. Wide right that time. Vanden handles it. Hard back check. And all the abs have a chance here. Now stall. And the Coyotes trying to get on the board. Tutin blocks it. Oh, what a terrific play. Here's Stepniak. The shot doesn't even get through to the goal because the defenseman dropped to his knees to block to the middle. And the whistle blows as the puck goes out of play. Howard stops another shot. We've got a moment now for tonight's Copper Stopper Replay. Brought to you by Duracell. What an athletic save that was, Bob. He's doing the splits and still manages to knock the puck away with his body. A nice play all around. Not all goalies can get into a position like that, let alone make a save from it. Impressive indeed. Just a super display of goaltending skills out there. At center. And the Coyotes are bringing it up. Centered. Oh. Higgins gets checked. Jordan Stoll. Now Goche with it. Nobody there. Stolen by Colorado. And Di Pietro will just hold on to that one. Slick and quick is the best way to describe Alesh Hemsky. He's a crafty playmaker and can hold on to the puck for long periods of time. He just needs to be a bit more selfish and shoot the puck with more frequency rather than passing on terrific scoring opportunity. Hits off the defenseman in the slot. They shoot again. It's saved. And with DPFO covers it. Donald settling in for this faceoff. The faceoff taken by the Avalanche. Here's Sutton at center ice. Colorado leads. Here's Jim Dowd. Christopher Howard will save, and he made it look easy. Howard play stops as the goalie covers up. Glove stop. He's flashing leather to wipe away this goal. Let's check that one out again, Bob. Oh, my. What reflexes to snatch the puck. These are the kind of saves that can save a hockey game. Awesome quickness, right? And Alexiev now. It's blocked. He scores! And they now have the two. guys out in front maintaining a position, waiting for a centering pass or a deflection, good things can happen. Here, the puck hits off a player's skate and goes right into the net. There it is. And for one team, a good thing did happen on that play. Great goal right there. I'm sure he did not move his skate to redirect that shot into the goal. It just ricocheted in. Either way, though, Harry, that was a Coyotes turn it over. And now DiPietro decides he's going to hang on to it. And Jordan Stahl is set for the faceoff. And Colorado has the puck defensive zone. Colorado with a two-goal lead. McCulloch, Adams handles it, and he stops it, coming low. Now Stahl with it, Vanden handles it, Vanden is hit. Did this guy play cricket when he was younger or what? What can amuse the wood to make this 
save. That puck was perfectly placed and seemed to just have a bead on the back of the net. But quick as lightning, he gets the stick out there to save the day. Controlled at center. Phoenix needs to get back on side. Chris Drury steals it. Here's Olin. He deeks past the blue line. Stempniak. He gets it. Howard covers up and freezes the puck. Howard in net, bracing himself for the faceoff. Carter wins the faceoff for his team. Salmon takes the check. Elias now. Henske takes the check. He let up a little bit at the end, but he's still got a lot of body on him. Elias. Save made on that shot by Patrick Elias. They do not want to be in this position right now. They're trailing big. And if one thing sticks out to me right now, it's their lack of good scoring chances. And also, when they get a chance, they can't seem to put it in the net. You're just letting too many times down the ice turn up empty for you. They're going to have to pick it up. Gervais gets the loose puck between the two blue lines. And Alexiev now. He feeds it up the left side. He centers it. Howard with a stick save. That was a great stop. Sutton. Dowd handles it. And the boards, Nikita Alexiev. And he stopped that. Hart's got it. And the abs take it away. The pass is missed. Now Nikita Alexiev. And the puck is held by Digg. Dowd is held against the boards. Here's Park. Directed out center. Now Phoenix into the zone. In front. Puck stolen by Sutton. Now Dowd. The avalanche dump it in. Mikolek coming off the bench as his team makes the D-line change. Phoenix back into the zone. Taken away by Colorado. To the point. Missing the goal there. Green. Now Carlson's in close up. Carlson's check. Behind the goalie. And he stops that one going high. And he can't it. Besides, he's going to hang on. This is an incredible save, Bob. He squared up here to give himself the optimal range of movement needed to get his glove on that puck. That was a definite goal without the anticipation. It would have been. That's some very aware goaltending. And blocked by Di Pietro. And Di Pietro will just hold on to that one. The officials got the puck in hand, and he's ready to start things up again. Now the Coyotes get it back. Roar. Save as it ricochets away off the goalie. And Rick DiPietro is set there on the right side. And here's Jackman. Brewer is hit. And Colorado at the line. It's loose. Jackman skating with it now in his own. Can't hang on, and it's taken away by Chuton. In the corner, Samen's got it. He's got a great eye, great stick. The Avs lead by two now. Here's Brewer. It's sent up the left side. And the pass doesn't make it there. Fritchie's got it. Jackman holding him up along the board. And it deflects off the glass. Howard play stops as he covers the puck. The Coyotes are having a tough night in the faceoff circle. It's tough to win games when your center iceman is winning only 37% of the draws. Shoots it wide, not close at all. Drury held along the wall. Higgins handles it. Orpik's got it. Phoenix looking for their first goal. He shoots. Misses right. He nearly hit the post. Higgins gets checked. Here's Stempniak. Center ice. Stempniak. Listen to these fans. They're cheering their team on. It's not like two is enough. They want to make sure these guys stay sharp. Harry, they want that one more to put it away. Phoenix regains possession. Save by Di Pietro. And Di Pietro decides he's going to hang on. Here's a replay, Bob, of that awesome save. He denies a big scoring opportunity here. Amazing stop, Harry. That's one opportunity taken away by great goaltending. And getting ready for the faceoff now, Travis Zajac. 
He shoots it. Di Pietro makes the save. That two goal advantage keeping some distance between the teams right now. And this next face off on Di Pietro's right. Colorado with a two goal lead. Here's Elias. Dimitra's hit. Oh man, did he get nailed. What a big time hit. Now Barrett Jackman. Brewer now. The pass went nowhere. Now Anthony Stewart. And now Colorado in their zone. Penske takes the check. And Pavel Dimitra with it. Dimitra now in the neutral zone. The Coyotes with it. Lerac skates across the blue line with less than one minute left to the pool. And Di Pietro will just hold on to that one. And Rick Di Pietro is set there on the right side. Just 34 seconds left. To the point. Centering pass. Lerac. Tutin had to drop down to his knees on the ice. What a block. Shoots it from his own zone. The second period is over, and the score is 2 to nothing. Second period of hockey is complete. Now it's time for the Dodge Period 2 intermission report. The Coyotes are just getting dominated so far here tonight, Harry. Why are we seeing, do you think, such a blowout? What do you think is the main contributing factor in this poor performance? They're down by a lot, and they're lucky it isn't by more with their performance up. The third period is just about to begin. Seaman corrects the puck in the neutral zone. The Coyotes on the move, and the Avs take it away. Fired wide left on that one, not on goal. Tutin with a great defensive play to poke the puck away. And the Avs coming in. Here's Elias. His shot sails just past the right side of the net. Howard and the goalie comes up to start the play. They're getting ready for the face-off to the left side of the goalie. to break up the play. Stall. Here's Stall. Di Pietro with a beautiful save. And Rick Di Pietro covers it up. And Jordan Stall is set for the faceoff. Here's Fritchie. Here's Craig Adams. Weir disrupts the feed up that left side. And Rick Pietro covers it up. Dan Feige at the faceoff circle. Now we'll pick with it. Now the rack. Phoenix looking for their first goal. Stolen by Colorado. Now Sutton with it. Richie's got it. And Phoenix turns it over. The Avs lead by two now. Freitchie's right, got it along the boards. Adams pokes it away. Lorac, center ice. Back to the point. The Avs steal it. Here it is, Colorado on the move. Well, let's see the replay on that charging penalty. You usually know when the ref's going to blow the whistle. I have a feeling it wasn't a big surprise on that play. <laughs> Not much of a surprise from this angle either. The referee had a pretty good view, made the call for the next two minutes. The player will get back to the point. Over to Whitney. He makes the save. That puck is free game. He's covered and fires a shot by Glory is denied. Over to Carter. And the Coyotes take it away. Now Barrett Jackman. And now the Coyotes clear it out, trying to kill the penalty. Mikolek. Here's Mikolek. And Mikolek shot denied. Howard covers up. The Avs have still got the man advantage. Power play is still in effect. Colorado grabs it. Olin now. The Coyotes turn it over. And the Coyotes pick it up. Higgins. And a 
great defensive play to break it up. Now Hemsky. And Patrick Elias with it. Elias. He gets it. Howard. He covers it up. Richard Park ready now for the puck drop. The Avalanche have the puck leading by two at home. Dimitra. It is stopped. To the point. Now Sutton with it. Now Constantine Kosa. Shot. And he makes the save. He stops him on the breakaway. And now we've got our cover stopper. We've got Bucky Yorison. It was a great save. Here we go on the replay, Bob. I love this excitement here, Harry. It all ends up with a fantastic glove save. These kinds of plays as a goalie really make or break you. This time, he made it happen. And Colorado has the puck defensive zone. Dig. And Alexiev now. To the point. The point. The center. And he shoots. Backhanded shot. Stopped by the defense. This was a must block here with his guys down by two goals. Higgins' shot saved. The Coyotes have been flat all game long. They gave up the lead early and still have a sizable deficit to overcome if they want to win this one. Stranger things have happened, though, Harry. They're down by a lot, and they're lucky it isn't by more with their performance on faceoffs tonight. Winning the puck can be vitally important to a team's success, and this game is turning into a good example of why that's true. Over the blue line to the point. Drury, Tootin's got it. No luck on that pass. Not a lot of time left here for the Phoenix Coyotes. If they don't want to be quickly closed out here, Everyone on the team needs to kick up their play a notch. They need to play at a higher level and really get aggressive on the puck. And Drury now, he's body checked. the up, and a save is made. Howard, he decides to hold on to the puck. Let's examine this save a little closer, Bob. It's almost like he knew exactly where the puck was headed before it was even shot. This is the kind of save, Harry, that doesn't make the highlight reel, but it's the kind that the coach likes to see. Anything that saves the skipper, Howard covers up after the shot. Now, this save we're about to see is simply good technique. Have a look at it. The keeper is set and ready on this one, Harry. He knows where the puck is. He knows where the players are on the ice. And he uses the stick well to defend against the shot. Yeah, he's locked right. And Park settles in to take the draw. Colorado picks it up. Soleil now to the middle. He shoots. The puck bounces off the blocker and deflects away. Old Soleil. Di Pietro with a great stop. The shot headed bottom right. Nikolek clears it out of the zone. And icing is called as Phoenix touches up. Great anticipation to rob them from a goal. He just put up the lumber where it was needed, and the puck stayed out. He knew what was going to happen all along, Harry, and he was ready when the shot was... And Stahl gets set to take the draw. Mikulak gains possession in the defensive zone. Here's McCulloch. Now Stahl. Stahl. Just right on the post. Nearly hits it. It stopped. The shot deflects off the goalie. Over the blue line. And fired. Misses on the left side. Wide on that shot. Elias. Not a lot of time left here for the Phoenix Coyotes. Now Stahl. Seaman. to the point, picked off, and Colorado has the black defensive zone, and Colorado over the line. Colorado skating with confidence now. The Abs can focus on staying safe. They are pretty close to putting this one out of reach, but they're not quite out of the woods yet. Stranger things have happened than giving up two quick goals in succession. And the Avalanche touch up by seeing as the call. Carter handles it in the neutral zone, and Phoenix over the line. Here's Carter. And Di Pietro stops the shot, maintaining that two-goal advantage. And Whitney now at center. And Colorado turns it over. Stahl has it. Bob, we've seen him play a lot. And how many times have you seen him hit like this? That was a classic open ice body check. Stall. Stall. Di Pietro stops that one. Old baby will escape. And folks, he looked very good doing it. And now Di Pietro decides he's going to hang on to it. 
Now Fritchie with it. And now Colorado into the zone. Taken away by Jordan Stone. Here's Phoenix, and they're skating well. He centers it. Di Pietro makes an incredible stop, taking the shot to his body while being in the splits. Two minutes left in the period. The key gets hit. Higgins. And the Coyotes across the blue line again. They shoot again, and Di Pietro stops it, coming from the right side. And Di Pietro decides he's going to hang on. A great shot in this replay, Bob, but somehow the goalie manages to get in the way of it. He came from nowhere, Harry, sticking his frame right in the middle of the shot. There was daylight, and then it was gone. And now Colorado in their zone. Hope check at the point. Colorado regains possession. Over a nice hit and a real beauty. He nailed it. He shoots it. And close off shot denied. In deep. Puck stolen by Sutton. The puck is loose. And now Phoenix touches up. It'll be icing. While well, this goalie was in the zone on this save, just look at him. His body knows what's coming, but his mind seems to be on a higher plane. Check it out, Bob. His muscles are relaxed and his eyes are glazed over. And just when you think the puck is on the verge of entering the net, oh, what a poke check to break up that play. The Coyotes are able to get it back. Man, oh man. That's a horrible way to lose right there. Gosh, completely shut out. Completely, completely. Completely shut out, yo. So, that's how we're gonna start the month of January. Like I said, the way this works is after the game, I go through and simulate the rest of the month. So, that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate the month of January. I'll come back and let you know the results. All right, we're back. We have simulated the month of January. We have just arrived at February 1st. Man, not looking too good. We, uh, uh, We're now 22, 21, and eight overall, as you can see right here. The last 10 games, we were four, four, and two. We're 12th. 
in the Western Conference. That's our standing. Excuse me. But anyhow, let's see where we are here. Yep. There we are, right there, right under Los Angeles. But we are right outside of the playoffs. It's not looking too good. But that is what it is. Uh, let's take a look at the month. So in January, we lost to Colorado. Then we got an overtime loss to Chicago. Then we got a win, and a loss, and a win, and a loss, and a win. Another overtime loss, then a win. Then a loss, then an overtime loss, then a loss, then another loss. That's basically four loss. That's like a four losing game win. A four game losing streak is what I'm trying to say. Then we finally closed out the month with a win, but the damage had already been done. Alright, to look at the month real quick, let's breeze through it. See, in that first game, it was all of them. That's the game that we played. CPU versus CPU on here, it was all of them all day. That two to nothing loss. Followed that up with an overtime loss to Chicago. Only McKee made it. He scored a goal in that. He scored our only goal in that game. Wait a minute. What is it? Oh, you know what? Somebody here must have got... Uh, that dude, Nylander, he must have been... He must have been traded since that game. That's what happened. All right. So, and then in this game with Anaheim, the game that we won is all our players. Jackman scored a goal. Zajac scored a goal and an assist. Stahl scored a goal on this one. Then at Calgary, we didn't do so. We didn't fare so well. They beat us four to one. Looks like all their players, look like one of their players, they traded Connolly. Okay, then at Edmonton, we got a win. Looks like Stahl scored a, scored a goal, had an assist. Then at Vancouver, ooh, we got blown all the way out, six to nothing. And that's all the Vancouver guys right there. Then at Minnesota, we got a win there, three to two. Gaithier, uh, that's what I call them, install. We got a lot of trade proposals, by the way, but I, I didn't entertain any of them. If I would, I would have shown it, but yeah, no, I haven't entertained. But as you can see, these other teams have, because a lot of these players, you see a lot of the movement. Like this guy, Yashin. He's no longer with San Jose. He's now with, looks like, wherever that is. But, uh, yeah, so in this loss to San Jose, Brewer scored a goal. Then in the win against Columbus, we whooped their tail 6-2. This is all I got. Stewart had a goal. McKee had a goal and two assists. The baby brother Stahl had a goal in this in assist. Then in the Chicago loss, ooh, Chicago beat us down five to one. We lost Chicago. Then in the Buffalo overtime loss, horrible, horrible. We lost four to four to three. Brewer scored a goal in that one. Then another beatdown loss. Nashville got us at home, no less, seven to two. Horrible, horrible. All Nashville. Then we followed that up with another loss, six to two to Columbus. Horrible, horrible. And this is one where we came out the gate three to one and still lost six to two, six to four. I'm sorry. 
to Columbus, and it's all Columbus players at the end. Then at Detroit, we finally got a win. And there was the two brothers. Baby brother got a goal. The big brother got a goal and an assist. And then Seaman got a goal and an assist for the 4-2 win. So, man, holy cow. So we made our way to February 22, 21, and 8. That is the record right now. Hold up, let me check the calendar real quick. So we got the month of February. So when we come back on the next episode, episode number six, I'm going to play that one February game. And then after that, the last five games is going to be three games in March. And then two of these three games in April we'll play. All right. And that'll be the season. So, until then, you know who it is. For the old man. Yeah. Yep, that's right. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.